Hello everybody, welcome to my first vlog. This is a survival roleplay. I've started inspired by Dagwin, I must say, over credits to him. I thought I'd hop on it and see how it does, see if you enjoy it. So, this is going to be the first unrealistic part of me. I'm just saying thank you all, make sure to like, subscribe and share, it would be much appreciated. I won't be saying that in the future ones, but just saying it here, as this is my first one. So... We have, I have bought a farm yard, well it's just a farm yard with some tractors for 50,000, no 70,000 and I've got a big loan in the bank. I've just bought this car for scrap for £200, it was literally just on a scrap yard, so that's alright and I was going to see and go check out that farm, it's just down the road there, I'm just down here asking him where it was. And then I'm going to see if there's any local farmers that could help me get a bit of money. Start this old car up. Is there we are. Like I said, I just bought it for £200 for scrap. I'll be replacing it eventually, but for now, it gets me around. Yeah, there's a new Holland dealership up there, so if we lease anything, when we're back on our feet, it'll probably be a new Holland. This car is very old, it is very slow. So I believe a farm is just down this lane at the top of here. We have to go right down here. I've also got drone and a good camera. That's literally all I have and then I've just bought this farm. It looks like there's quite a few farms around the area. Apparently there's a farm right next to me, a pig farm. I'll have to have a look. The house is just on the corner, not ours, but the pig farm, so we'll knock on his door. Right, we are nearly here. Like I said, this car will be getting replaced. It's just an old car. I won't get a car. I'll probably get a buggy or something, like a gator, I don't know. So, I believe that's a farm. Let me just go look at this pig farm. So, I believe this is his house. This is his driveway. Oh, yeah, he's got a Land Rover. So, just pull in here. Wow, this car turning circle is not good at all. Perfect. Alright, I will go and I hope he doesn't mind me parking there, but I could probably just go around, knock on his door. Hello, who are you? Are you new around here? Hello, uh, yes, I am actually. I have bought that abandoned farm over there for 50,000. I was wondering if you had any farm work. Yes, I do, in fact. I got some pigs around there. If you want to go feed them every morning, I'll pay you 200 per day. 200 per day. That sounds great. Okay, then. That's a deal. Can I go around there and have a look? Okay. So he's just coming around, just around here, yep. So I believe it is, yep, gates are open. Can I have a look what machinery we have got? Alright. Oh wow. You have a hill, of them, a load of tractor, and a, is it not much of a farm then? No, mostly pigs, we do have a little field. Oh yeah, and a Zeta. Old Zeta, alright, let's have a look at your pigs. Are you all fed today? Yes, yes, all done today. You can start your job tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll just make sure water's topped up. Alright. Yeah, you've left a uh, seed pallet here. Anyway, that seems all good. Yeah, I'll start tomorrow. 
Oh yes, thank you. Great. No problem. Alright then guys, that was quite good. We'll go and check out a farm just there now. It is bigger than this one, but it's all abandoned. It does only clearing up on that. Obviously this one doesn't. Looks like he has a land he's working on. Anyway, let's get off. This is pretty easy to drive. It's very slow though. Let me just go right here. And then straight in here, left. Um, we can probably drive up there. So this is our grass field. This is where we're going to make most of our money off. We haven't got any equipment. I don't know if um, oh, I don't know if I caught his name. I'll have to check. So, wow, got quite a bit of equipment. Obviously, as you can see, all needs tidying up and that. All these brambles and everything. I just need to cut it all over. But, oh, I heard this guy is a big Ford fan and he has a county that he absolutely looks after. So, I'll fit, oh, let's look at this Massey first. It's loaded tractor. This looks better than the pig farms one. <laughs> I love these old Masseys. A Massey 390T. Looking great. These do all have a keys in, but we are going to have to buy some service parts so nothing starts at the moment. So, as you can see here, he has a county. Very nice. This is what he loves. Let's get in it. Looking very good. I believe this will start once we've got fuel and everything in it. Oh, wow. He's got a Nissan Safari. Well, this is cool. Looks like it's broken down, but we can probably fix all this stuff. And then, a old Ford here. Oh, I'm getting prickled. Oh wow, this one's in a pressure wash in a long while. Alright then. So, that's a old Ford. I can't even see what it is. What is this? That subsoil I will get rid of and this probably. I'll sell that off. So then, this is looking very good. Alright. Let me see. Um, let me look on my iPad here. See if they have any anything we can pick up. Any like pallets, pallet service pallets or anything. Right. So then, everybody, I think I'll go to um, the shop store. See if they have any pallets, and I might. I'll actually. Try and see if they would like to buy these two things off me. As none of these tractors b work, I might have to borrow his down there. So, let's just go see him again. See if we can borrow one of his tractors. Alright. Start up and I'll see you when I'm there. Right, I have just pulled up. I've been talking to him, and he said, I can borrow a tractor, 
but I'll just move this up a bit. But um, I have to cultivate one of his fields down there. It's only a small one, fluffy. I said that's no problem. All right. Wow, this car's not moving very good. I think it is about broken. It was getting scrapped, but I just bought it for 200 quid. So, here are his beaks. As you can see that we just shown you earlier. And he said we can bowl his helmet. So, I'll just get her started up. I'll be back once she's warmed up. Right, she is all warmed up. He has told me to take the front loader off while I do this. So, yeah, perfect. Just like that. Back up. It's quite nice, this tractor. I know it's old. But, it's still quite nice. Just go out of his yard. So, I believe I'll be using this again to cultivate. I don't really know what he uses Zetor for. Don't think he really does. Oh, I did catch his name as well. He is called Tony. Quite nice, Tony. He's helped us quite a bit, letting us borrow his tractors already. What it's all about, though. Hopefully, we'll get earning some of our own money soon. So, I will just attach up to what we've got there. This field I might make into Albal Field. Well, not yet. So, this tree is getting in the way a lot. Oh, 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 wow. It really needs tidying up this yard. It's like proper messy. So, if I just get out right here. Put it into a drone mode. I don't own that field. I don't know who does, but we do have to come through my land to get onto it. That field's way too big for me to own. Who has a nice little drone shot for you? I think that's about right. There we go. I'll put PTO and everything on. Lift her up. I can go out this side of the yard, so that's alright. It looks like it's all on good. It's a bit big for this tractor. But I don't need this yet. I need to just... I'm not really going to be working on our farm for a bit. There's a lot more farms than uh, Tony's. I know that for sure. So this is a planter, very, very um, small one. Won't be worth a lot, but it'll get us started. I'm not selling any other tractors. Because that would just be so handy once we're all ready. So his new horn does take anything, even tractors and everything, any sort of tractors. And then they usually just sell the old ones. And then these ones, lots of them get leased. We are nearly there. I know it seemed like I got a bit of money, quite a bit of money, once this has been sold, but I haven't actually. Because I got a loan and a lorry is coming to um, pick up all the rubbish in the next episode, probably. You know, all the rubbish that we have on the farm. 
Right. Let me just put this over here then. Right. They have told me to just leave it here. Unattach him and they'll pay me in a minute. I'll wait for them to pay me. Right, you'll never guess how much that was worth. Look in that top right corner. That's my bank account. It was worth loads. So, I was just going to have a look. See if I've got any fuel barrels or anything. So, if I have a look here. This is everything they have in stock. So, I need a few service pallets. If I just buy that, that'll be out on the front. I need a few of these. That'll do. I need some add blue, but I'll get that later on. And then, other than that, I think that is everything. By the looks of it, yep, that's all we need. That should do us. Tony has just rang me up and said he wants a new trailer picking up. And this is it. So that's worked great because we just bought all this. And now he's got that trailer, so we can put it in that. I'm guessing it attached to the Hurleyman. It should do. If not, then... I don't know. Because, yeah, I'm guessing it is going to go on back of his Land Rover. I believe that's his anyway. I'm sure it is. I think he's just working on it. This does need a service. I could do that for him later on. He might be happy about that. So, if we just reverse up to this. You know, I could pull it. It is a small car trailer. Just going back with his Land Rover. Right. I've got a great trailer at home. I think I do need to pump up all the tyres. Yeah, that's not great. Let me push it back a bit. Let me see if I have anything in stock to uh, put on the drawbar. I have actually just bought this for Tony. It was just going on the drawbar. So I'll see you once I've got this all on. I have just got everything attached. I have bought this for Tony. So that'll make it a lot better. It did cost me like £300, but I thought it's worth it for what he's done. I'm already using his trailer. So I thought that I'll uh, let him. So these will just get everything loaded up for me. I believe they have a forklift that they'll bring out. So, once it's loaded up, I'll be back with you. We have just loaded up one. Now we are just loading up the second one. I just saw they have these cool John Deere gators there and a big new Holland wheel loader. These are quite cool. Let me just see one. These would be quite good for driving around. But, now I think I'd, uh, once that safari's going, that'll be great. Alright, let's hop back into this. I think that the Massey Ferguson might start. I have faith in it. I will have to see. He said I can just take the trailer to mine for now. Why is this going so slow? I don't know, but I'll see it when I'm back at the farm. Right, everybody, we are back at the farm. I was just going to go around here to the Massey and just fix it off a trailer. So you can, that's my i 4 Williams trailer. It's a really good one. Alright, let's get, let's just see on here. Refill it. Right. Let me get the service stuff out and I'll start with a service. Just 
unstrap. Right, I've given it service as well. So, I'm going to put all this away. Right, I've just put Tony's tractor there. Well, I have found this mower here. So, I was going to see if the tractor starts. Right. There we go. Wheel that up. Now, hop into the Massey. Hydraulics work. So, oil's all done. So, hydraulics work, oil's all done. So, let's see. Come on. Yes. She starts. So, while that warms up, keep it going a bit. Here is this mower. I have drained over oil in that tractor. So, I'm guessing them Fords don't start yet. I'll uh, look at them another time. Well, let's hop in. Give her a go. Looking very good. Looking very good. So, we've saved the tractor. Let's see if it attaches to his mower. I'm guessing this mower doesn't start. Won't be surprised. But if it does, I will try and mow over some brambles. Just one minute. Let me get this attached. Right, I have just got it all attached. Let's see if it lifts. That's great. So, just first little bit we'll start on. Is probably going to be. We'll try this bit over here. It isn't just a normal mower. It's one of them ones that um, you know, it's full brambles really, because obviously this used to get overgrown, obviously. So turn that on. Make sure everything's working. It looks like it's working. Everything's the belt's turning on everything. So, let me, I'll try and not get a tractor even more scratched. i do this a little bit first. Wow, that's done that really good. I'm impressed. Let's see if it does a big bit, it won't. Oh, wow, 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 wow. That is very good. Look at that. I was going to do this in another episode, but it looks like it's uh, doing it. Because I didn't have a mower, but I've just found one. I think it's better if I back over it. I think that works better. I might take that shed down there. I don't know. Let me try and do these bits where the Massey was. Come on. This mower is very good. It, I don't think it can do that piece. I was going to buy one of them proper thing. I think I'm still going to get rid of this one. Buy a new one, you know. Well, this is working very good. Very good. This is a bit, we might make this a walkthrough. I'll get rid of the trees by a chainsaw. But, for today, I think that's all we'll do. So, I'll uh, shut her off. Then, um, I'll go over here, take this back to Tony's. After I've got everything that's ours out of. Everything on the trailer's ours. Just the trailer and tractors is. So, next episode will probably be cultivating his field. Don't know if it's been shown, but this was my first vlog on Survivor Roleplay. Hope you've all enjoyed it as much as I have. 
next time I won't say anything about subscribe it will just be fully realistic you know this is just the first one to see how you like it so I've got a button here to open the garage there we go and that's where all this is going so once I've got this unloaded I'll be back I've just spotted I've got this vegetable patch here so that's quite good might uh, plough this all up next time plant some potatoes or something I have got everything unloaded I will just sh shut the garage and then we'll go to Tony's drop off his tractor and trailer he's already been a great help couldn't have done this without that trailer obviously we won't use it again because we've got our Eiffel Williams trailer but it's been very handy Don't know why this tractor is going so slow. Anyway, I can uh, that's his house right there. I do quite like this tractor. It's a nice tractor. Turn it in here. There's a car. I think I'll scrap that soon. Might get 200 quid off it. Might get my profit back. I don't know. Anyway, I can put this trailer. I am in a drone view now. I'm getting a nice drone shot for you. Put this trailer in here. Perfect. Put it straight in it. I don't know if he wants it connected to the front loader, so I'll leave it. Oh, you're done. Oh, hello, Tony. Yep, I've done, and I bought this for you. I thought I would, and you help the drawbar thing because I put that on. And I couldn't really get it on, so I bought this. So you can attach that. So that's quite good. I'll pay you later. No, you don't need to pay me. It's all right. Anyway, I'm off now. See, you, Tony. Bye. Alright, up in my old car. Spin it around. He's alright, this car. It goes, you know, gets me to A to B. I would like that Nissan Safari to get started up again if it ever does. I'll just park this in the garage, I'll have to open the garage up again. There's quite a few farms around here. I haven't visited lots of them. Oh, let me just uh, get into here. The gears and clutch in there are good. Clutch could do replacing, it really does need replacing, but there's no point when the car's only worth not even 200. I bought it off scrap for 200. So what's the point? Pay more than that for a clutch. Basin. That's why I am not spending any money on this. If it breaks, it breaks. I just have to scrap it. So then, everybody. Let me just go up top of airship escape. Thank you all for watching. It's been a great one. On a new Survivor World Play, we've met Tony. Great guy. Helped us a bit. Well, thank you for subscribing. Make sure to like, subscribe, and give it a share. Be much appreciated. Appreciated. And with all that said, I'm out.